is a lattice plus the motive. The motive is sometimes also called the base. So we first have to look what lattice means, then what a motive is and in which way it is linked to our crystals. A lattice is something mathematical. It is defined as follows. A lattice is an infinite arrangement of points in space, or in the plane, or on a line, in which all points have the same surroundings. That means a lattice in the plane looks like that. A genuine lattice would be infinite, but that wouldn't fit onto the slide, so just imagine that it is almost infinite. And now we see that every single point of the lattice has the same surroundings. That is true for this point, with this neighboring points in the first, second, third sphere and so on. And this point has also the same surroundings. Now it should be also clear why a lattice has to be infinite according to its definition. Namely, because a point at the border does not have the same surroundings as a point at the center. Therefore, there must be no border. Of course, in reality crystals have borders and this leads to different physical or chemical properties at the surface compared to the bulk phase. Now, we need the connection to our crystal structure. What does such a lattice point represent? You can think of it as a connection point between neighboring unit cells. This means place a lattice point at every corner of every unit cell. Here we have plicity, let's take only two of the three dimensions, namely the yz plane, then we see this lattice. And because our crystal consists of an almost infinite numbers of unit cells, our lattice can be approximated as a real infinite lattice. A lattice is characterized by its lattice and this is called the motive. The motive consists of the arrangement of the building blocks of a unit cell. So this means normally some atoms or a molecule, but in principle it could be everything. Like this car for instance. And the motive is represented by a lattice point. And if we apply this translational principle to this car, we get this arrangement of cars, like a parking place. This parking place can be regarded as a kind of a two-dimensional crystal, if the cars are regularly arranged and if the cars are all of the same type. It is important that you understand that the lattice is only a virtual construct which describes the and the direction from one motive to another. Okay, usually crystals are not made by cars, but by atoms or molecules. Let's take, for instance, this three atomic molecule and let's apply the translational principle. Then we get this crystal. We see that the orange atoms are translated by this orange lattice. And this must be also the case for the blue atoms. All building blocks of a crystal structure are subject to the same translational principle. Therefore also the green atoms build the same lattice or are transferred to each other by the same lattice. So one can conclude that all lattices which are built by the different atoms must be congruent. They are superimposable. So this is from your book. We can see from your book.